and welcome back. I'm so excited about today's video. It's almost spring and that means warm weather and birds chirping and flowers and bunnies and Easter eggs, but it also means spring cleaning your house. And I hate cleaning to begin with, but the idea of spring cleaning sounds like ultimate suckage, especially because I think of it the way my mom and grandmother spring clean, which is a week long, insane thing. Nobody's got time for that. I'm gonna show you a different way. This is a routine, it's quick, and the best part is if you are like me and you get distracted, this is gonna keep you focused. The first step is distracting your brain from how much cleaning sucks. I don't recommend music. I have ADHD, so even listening to a great playlist, sometimes I'll skip the song, I'll stop, maybe I'll start looking up new songs. Sometimes I'll even get lost and I'm like, oh, this new rapper has a video and he's doing weird stuff and then next thing you know, I'm watching his documentary. I'm telling you this because it has happened, which is why I recommend audiobooks. I listen to really terrible YA vampire werewolf type things. Maybe that's not your thing, but the point is you want something that keeps you thinking about what you're listening to so you're not thinking about how much cleaning sucks, but not so interesting that you want to Google it. My absolute favorite spring cleaning tip, especially if you have ADHD like me and you have trouble focusing, is to dress the part. Fly Lady says to put sneakers on. All the cleaning experts say to dress like a cleaning professional. Sometimes I wear dresses, 1950 dresses, but an apron, it will 100% get you in the zone and remind you constantly that you are cleaning the house. Sometimes I'll wander into a room and I'll be like, where am I and what's happening? And I look down and I'm wearing an apron. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's cleaning time. It definitely is all about mindset and it keeps you focused. You can pick up an apron for just a few dollars and I promise you, you slap this bad boy on and you're gonna feel like a cleaning professional. This next tip is from Catherine from Do It On A Dime and it's amazing. This is a car cleaning mitt from the Dollar Tree and if you're like me, you can get distracted by the fact that you have to tidy first. You look at laundry that has to get put away or dishes or mess and you want to tidy before you clean but spring cleaning is all about actually getting rid of dirt which is why I like having a cleaning mitt. Not only am I going around and just wiping surfaces, I'm doing everything and just collecting the dust but it stops me from starting to do the small details. I physically cannot organize or sort or start tidying things but because my hand's in the cleaning mitt. So it reminds my brain, stop it Cass. This isn't tidying time, it's cleaning time and it keeps me focused. Another tip to stay focused is to break your home into high-low. So the first tip is to hit it high. Just everything up high. When we're cleaning our house, we always do waist-high surfaces, but what about light fixtures? What about the gross wall above your stove or the top of your appliances, the top of your door jams? Go high and just go from room to room, looking as high as you can, the top of your furniture and dusting all of that first. Right now, we're going low. My knees popped, I'm very old. <laughs> so get your mitt, soak it with your favorite multi-purpose cleaner and just all the low stuff, baseboards. I want you to do the bottom of legs of all of your furniture, anything low that's usually neglected. My cold air returns are disgusting. But again, this is keeping us focused because we're just worried about the things on the floor and really low so we're not wandering off somewhere else or doing other things that aren't part of get low. In the rebox with the, with the strap. <laughs> when you're spring cleaning, think outside the box with your vacuum. Think your blinds, maybe it's the top of your curtain rod, anywhere that you have dust or cobwebs and it's up high, skip the ladder, and bring out this bad boy. Everything can be vacuumed. Go ahead and vacuum your curtains, get the cobwebs, even do light fixtures. This is my old school 1970 Central Vac and I love her because it has this really long rod, which means I can vacuum anything and everything.
When you're spring cleaning, it's important to clean your cleaners. My vacuum has so much hair in it, it's disgusting. Your dishwasher can also get really gross. So grab a wet paper towel and just drag it around the inside seal of the door. It's a horror show what you're gonna find. It's important that you clean it though, and then run your dishwasher with just a cup of vinegar on empty to make sure that your dishwasher is sparkly clean. This is also the perfect time of year to clean your washing machine. The front of your washing machine probably has a little trap door filled with all sorts of horror. Take a few seconds and clean it out so all of your laundry is going to smell fresher and be cleaner for the rest of the year. I'd like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I need all the help I can get when it comes to focusing, especially on my health goals. And so I love getting pre-packaged meal kits, so healthy, delicious meals, and I don't have to worry about planning. That's awesome. I also love that there's so many recipes to choose from because I'm not creative when it comes to dinner, so this gets me out of the recipe rut. My kids love when the delivery comes. Maybe I'm not a great cook, but every single meal from HelloFresh is always a winner with my kids. A lot of these meals are under 20 minutes too, so it's really fast to make, easy to clean up, one pan. I'm all about fast, easy meals. Because it's all pre-portioned, it's a lot less wasted food too, which I love. Go to HelloFresh.com and use the promo code CLUTTERBUG16 to get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com promo code CLUTTERBUG16. Speaking of delicious food, I'm about to clean the leftovers out of my fridge. Cleaning out the fridge can seem really intimidating, like it's going to take forever, but here's what we're gonna do. We're just looking for things that have expired and we're wiping down the shelves. That's it, there's no organization, we're not going overboard, but spring cleaning is when you wanna make sure you don't have salad dressings that have expired months ago, or jam that's a little crusty dusty, or that one pickle left in the jar at the back of the fridge. It's also a really good time just to take inventory of what you have and what you need and start fresh for 2022. I gotta show you. Can you see that? July 19. Is it 2024? This is definitely the time of year to just tackle the stink in your house. I like using baking soda for all the smelly areas and a really quick tip is to sprinkle your mattress with baking soda and then just vacuum it up. It's amazing how it absorbs odors and smells, moisture from your mattress. I also use baking soda to clean my garbage disposal, just sprinkling some in the sink, doing a scrub and rinsing it away. And I sprinkle baking soda in the bottom of the garbage can to absorb all of those odors. My mom even leaves an open box of baking soda in her fridge to absorb odors. This little dollar box is pretty magical for getting rid of the stink in your home. I can't talk about spring cleaning without talking about decluttering, but instead of making piles and sorting, just grab a bag. Just grab a bag and fill it with things that you know that can go. No sorting, no making piles, just getting stuff out. And here in my laundry room, this is where I really neglect things or I put things that I don't wanna make decisions on. I have a bunch of bathroom products that I've been moving from room to room. They just need to go. I'm gonna take them to my car right now and donate them to the women's shelter. I also have have a lot of lost socks. These lost socks are the bane of my existence. I, every time I look at them, I think it's a to-do and we have lots of socks in our rooms. I don't know why I just, I'm letting them go. You guys, fresh start, no regrets. Goodbye socks. It hurts, it hurts a little bit. This feels weird to me and I know I could use them for cleaning and I know I could use them for lots of things. Maybe I could recycle them, I don't care fresh start, spring cleaning, I'm getting rid of one nagging to do and there's no looking back. And I really wanna challenge you to do the same thing. Think about something in your home that you've been holding onto or shuffling from room to room that it's just time to let go. I hope you're feeling inspired to actually do some spring cleaning. Even if you do five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it's better than it was before. I want you to really stop being distracted by mess and tidying and just clean something today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. When you're going low, don't forget the kick plate in your kitchen. I'm gonna rip my pants. It's down here. It's down <laughs> 
Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I don't have a funny story for you. I were trying to sell the house. There's no houses available. It's kind of sad. We got everything ready. My standards are really high and yet I want to spend no money at all. You know what I'm saying? I want all the things, but I don't want to spend money. But anyways, that's not the end story. The end story is I'm putting myself out there and I started TikTok. I am addicted to TikTok. I love watching TikTok, but I didn't want to be a TikToker because A, I'm 150 million years old and B, I'm not that creative and C, it looks harder than making a YouTube video, but I did it anyways. It's really bad. I'm going to put a link. Yes, it's a shameless plug. I want you to follow my TikTok, but also I want to show you how it's okay to put yourself out there even if you have anxiety, even if you suck, and even if your videos are really bad. I am so scared about every time I post a TikTok because they're bad. They're really not good. But I think back to my first YouTube videos, which were cringy, like terrible. I'm still embarrassed that they're on the internet today, but that's where we all start. Anytime we try something new, it's gonna be awful and we just have to be brave enough to do it anyways. So I'm putting myself out there. I have a bad TikTok. Go check it out. I will be singing a song next week about my Roomba and it may or may not be to the We Don't Talk About Bruno song. I'm just, I wrote a song. I'm excited about it. You will never see me dancing on TikTok though. That's where I, so I, I have a line. I have a hard line. There'll be no, there'll be no TikTok dances. Okay, that is all. I'll see you guys next time.